You're very welcome to O'Moore Park, a very blustery O'Moore Park, a rain blowing around. Uh, the wind seems to be blowing from the far side of the field into the stand today. Um, well, John, what do you think of our chances today? The team, the way it's picked and all the rest? Well, I think today is the day of reckoning for both these teams. Well, if Hickett's coming in with many experienced lads now around for maybe 10 years or more, having competed in a junior championship final in 2012 and a replay and then again in 17 when they went on to win it. So against the Neville Leagues team that's on a bounce of a winning streak between league and championship unbeaten so far this year but I think the Ballapig spies are well capable of putting it up to them today and possibly it could be a close finish but I would expect Ballapig to possibly edge it at the end. Oh yeah, we're looking forward to a good final. Uh, Abeliks, uh, our nearest neighbours, of course, and they played once already here at the back of Amour Park this year, and they ended all square, so we, we can't take anything from that game anyway, John. A um, small few changes on the team. I see Darren McWee has gone to full forward, and uh, Mike McKeown has gone into corner forward today. Um, a few changes this year, John. Yeah, well, look, there have been a few practice matches there. And lads have been tried in different positions, so I suppose what your latest form is like, that's where you're starting today, and that's probably from the result of training and practice matches up to now. And of course, uh, Mary Whelan is not here today. We wish her well, and uh, we'll talk to her after the match. I'm sure she's very, fairly nervous at home, John. Ah, yeah, it's, very, it's a kind of a sign of the times, like pandemic 19, COVID-19 has been the big talking point for a year and a half now, and it's really... Hitting home to the Ballypicket Club today. And uh, like we wish well, Mary well and just hope that we'll have good news for her this evening and maybe Father Fell and hopefully might give her a visit. So, but we do wish her well and we'll try and keep her in touch with her as the game progresses. All right, John, I see a good few past players here today. I see the Wallace brothers and the Carter brothers and uh, players in the past here today. They're all out for this final. Looking forward to it. Yeah, that's right, Paddy. I, I, one of the first lads I met here was... Christy Wallace, as Soko as we knew him in our time, a man that lifted Father Phelan here in 1985. So it's a great, great occasion for Ballapicus. They're here in all their colour and glory and people and faces that you don't meet too often come out for a day like this. So hopefully the boys will have a big show today and uh, we'll give plenty to show about. And please God at the finish, maybe we'll get over the line. Yeah, that's good. Uh, Mark Rooney has made a huge difference about a pickers this year, John Hastie, and I wish him well today and all, all the selectors, but Mark has brought us to a new level. Yeah, that's the way the game has gone now. Like, there's one battle is on the field, the other battle is on the sideline, and, like, sometimes it comes down to the shrewdness and the switches and all that that's made on the line. But Mark Rooney is a man that has been there before. He has done it. I'm aware of the fact, I think, with a a couple of off uh, at least one off club anyway, where he guided them to success. So Mark knows what it takes. I think he knows how to get the best out of lads. And I think he'll have a... He demonstrated up to now that he doesn't wait around if a switch is needed or if a lad is off farm. Like, he looks at the bench, makes the change, and there's no regrets. He's very positive in his approach. And uh, I think, along with our selectors and all that, I think we have a good, strong line management team as well as the team in the field and uh, also a good bench so I think all in all we're very well prepared for this final Alright thanks John for that we're getting down to the, the final minutes before this game and I'll give you the Ballapickers team first of course, it, uh, Noel Concannon in the goals Tim Cass is number 2 Kieran Bowes is 3, Michal Downey is 4, on the half back line is William McDonnell, Liam Lawler and Colin Kinsta and of course centre field is Aaron O'Dea James Hennessy Thomas Whelan, MJ Lawler, Paddy Boggan. Sorry, we're going to stop here for the national anthem.
Now I was just going through the last of the team there. I was saying Aaron O'Dea, centre field along with James Hennessy. Thomas Whelan on the wing, MJ Lawler, centre forward and Paddy Boggan, number 12. Mike McKeown, corner forward, Dara McWee, full forward and Noel Leach. And then we have Sean O'Dea, Ricky Nolan, Jerry Whelan, Colin Ronan, Ronan Hayden, Orson Burshensaw, Sean Meany, Matthew Boggan, Ben Brennan, Trish Brennan, Evan Hennessy, Johnny Walton, Jack Dalton, and Brian Brennan. And of course, then we have the management of Mark Rooney, Tony O'Dea, Anthony Carter, and Ray Dalton. And just before we start, I just run down to the Abbey League's team. David Sheeran is in the goals, Eamon Fitzpatrick, Alan Lynch, David Welsh, Thomas Moore, Stephen Riley, and Liam Dial. And then the centre field is Enda McWee and David McAvoy. Connor Bergen, Cahill Dial, Sean Fitzpatrick, Sam Quinn, Joe Bergen, and Tom, Tommy Walton. Now, the game is just about to start, John. It's blustery, isn't it, John? Yeah, a bit blustery, all right. I think Bellapique is probably playing with uh, maybe the advantage of the breeze here in the first half, so they'll be looking to get onto the scoreboard early. And like uh, Bellapique's ref now is delaying the throw in, but he's looking for everyone to be where they should be. The midfielders are anxious to get going, but the ref is being patient. He's seeing the signals. I think the game could be on any second. The game is on, the ref is throwing the ball, an awful crowd around the central field, they're bunching already. The ball is on the ground, they're fighting for it hard, the ball breaks back out to Liam Lawler, Liam is the quickest to react, Liam is trick, trip, it's back out to an Abelique's man, and he's been number eight, and he's after going around in a few circles there, he's passing out to Dial. Dial has been bad luck, Dial throws the ball back, he throws the ball back to number five, the ref didn't see the throw, number five bats it on out to number five, to the corner forward firm, and he's lying down with the ball. The ref is going to give a, three, a free in for Abelique's, Number 13 for Abelique Star got fouled. Lively little player, number 13, of course. Um, Sam Quinn played football at Ballyroan. So now number 10 is going to take the free from Conor Bergen. Yeah, Conor Bergen, I think, never missed the free in the league championship series. So we'll see how he'll get off the mark here now with this one. A difficult enough one against the breeze, but he looks to have the range, I'd say. The two umpires look up, but it's very near the the right hand course but it's over the bar so Abeliques opens the score one point to Abeliques yeah, so no, yeah just, sorry John just tailed in at the last second there so the breeze is going to have a big factor I'd imagine in shooting today Noel Cole Cannon punts out the ball it lands on the half forward line it drops down to uh, Young Hennessy is fighting for the strong the ball has been broke back number 10 uh, Thomas Whelan dives Number nine has it for Abeliques. He's going, to, he's going to hurl it right into the square. The first uh, test for Kieran Bode lands in front of Lynch. Or Joe Bergen. Joe Bergen throws it right across to number 12. Number 12 has a good chance. He throws it up in the air into Sam Quinn. Sam Quinn is trying to go. Sam, a great save from Noel Concannon. And the ball is out for 65. It was a goal chance there, John, for Abeliques. Yes, that's right. I believe the word was that Abeliques were going for goals early and Sam Quinn just proved that that was accurate information that came to the Bellapica Spies. So... It's uh, 65 here now, but Balapikas will have to be under guard for maybe a similar attempt, maybe in the early stages of this game. So Connor Bergen is out to take his free again, or, f- or 45, sorry. Uh, the wind, you, it's hard to know what way it's blowing, to be honest, but it's kind of blown. It, yeah, it's probably favouring us a little bit, John RHA, and it's uh, coming into the stand a bit as well, so it might be hard to get scores with the way the kind of wind is blowing. Yeah, this will be a good test now, like it's more favourable position, but he's going for the easy one. Yeah, I think Bellapicas were caught snapping there. there so. napping. Number 12. Sean Fitzpatrick, of course, put that one over. So, Noel Kilcannon looking around, see where he's going to go. He's going to go and drop it on the half forward line again. It's dropping down and who stretches for the MJ Lawler stretches for the MJ has the first shot of the game a brilliant pint from oh sorry no out to the wide ever so slightly wide hard look for MJ the wind probably brought it across on a bit alright Savileks is passing it over to number two a short puck out from oh chips he's got his steps there I don't know what happened to ref it yeah. number nine throws the ball back out to number five for Abeliques he gets a good old ch- jostle he pokes it into the centre but I think Liam Lawler is there for that one Liam oh James is knocked out of his hand by Sam Quinn Sam is knocking around Sam is looking he passes it back to Young Dial Young Dial t- bulging through oh James has to be a, he barged through there so it's going to be a free out for Ballypickers I don't know who the ref is John uh, JJ Garman from Balakala is ref but oh, yeah. I think that was a 
a very, I think, the barging by the Vab Leaksman on that occasion. So Noel is coming out to take this one. Just a few metres on the Ballapicker side of the 21. So I'd imagine it'll land in around the square. This will be a tester now for Ballapicker to see what's happening. Noel lifts, pumps it in around the square. It's a fall on this side. It, oh, jeez, it got out wide on the MJ Lawler. A soft wide enough, John. Got out yeah, very harmlessly on us. When they bounce and go wide, it's not really ideal because, like, hard enough to get them up that far and putting the backs under pressure by keeping it in play at least. So the Abelique's going over on the centre of the field. This doesn't look to be going as far. David Sheeran is in the goal post for Abelique's. Yes, he... Uh, <laughs> Hard looking young Leach there, he's kicking the ball ahead of him, what's happen happened to go over the line on him. No Leach, so it's going to be a line ball for Abbey Leaks. The, the same thing, five or six metres behind there, 21st, 20, 21 yard line. The linesman is asking the players to stand back. The sideline is a bit mucky here, there's been a lot of games in the Moor Park. Let's fly in the ball, but it's stopped by 15, the ball has been poked across the field, but actually broke out very favourably for... And Number eight for Abelix is Enda McWee. He's throwing the ball into, in as far as uh, Conor Bergen. But, but uh, Conor Bergen is playing around, but he can't get the ball up. The ball went to number seven, Colin Kinsler. Swings the hurl, but he's going to give a free in for Abelix again. Yeah, Abelix, they're, they're in c control of the ball there. Their first touches is pretty good. And a little bit of a wild swing there, I think, by Colin Kinsler, forced to free. And chance here for Abelix to go three points up so Conor Bergen is taking this one again no he puts this one wide so we're lucky enough there John yep yeah, yeah, still two points up that's the first time I saw Conor Bergen hitting wide after an hour and uh, one hour and five minutes of hurling. That's the first three he missed. So Noel is changing Vegas. wings this time. He's changing over to where Mike McKeown is, but the ball is breaking down as far as MJ, but the ball breaks past him. Uh, number four, this person with the ball, he throws to Stephen Riley. Stephen passes it to Young Dial. Young Dial is number 11. Young Dial is trying to get, to get the ball. He's looking around, but he swings it into the centre. And who's over here on this side of the field? Young Timmy Cass. T two Abeliques, that's there. But he holds the ball, holds the ball. He... Uh, so it's a free in for Abelix. I think he turned the ball, so he gave it for more Sutton Hall. I would think it's a free to Balapikas, I think, because. Oh, yeah, absolutely, yep. I think the Balapikas men just held him up without fouling him. First chance here for Michael McKeown now from the freeze. Michael, who uh, has taken over duties this year. So Michael lifts, drives it in, looks very, very good. And we're off. We're on the scoreboard, two points to one. Good score from Michael. Michael is a talented hurler, John. Yes, yes, Michael, I think, didn't get the ball up from play, but it would be very interesting to see him now because this pitch should suit Michael. Good, good breakthrough for Conan Kinsler. Conan is pushing the ball ahead of him. The ball is in his hand now. He's trying to shake off the Abel man. He turns all around, he swings it into the square. It's in here with MJ Lawler. MJ. That's a goal oh. for Abel for Bally Pickers. MJ Lawler, a beautiful ball in from Colin Kinsler. That's the goal we needed, John. That's a great, a great ball by Colin Kinsler, and MJ was per perfectly positioned. And it's not easy to beat that Abel Eakes goalie, but MJ buried it at in the corner of the net. Sheeran pucks the ball out this side of the field, very near the line. Sam Quinn is on his knees at the line. He's trying, trying to get through. Abelix is, is they're after blocking him well, but the ball comes back to number 12 again. Mick McKeown is after him. He's trying to trigger him, but he taps the ball forward. Straight into Liam Lawler's hand. Liam has been fouled a bit. So Liam lets it right into the corner as far as Darren McWee. This is Darren McWee's first touch of the ball. He has it, has it in his hand. He's getting hard to keep control of it. He's still, still on the ground. And they're all on top of it on the, on the ground. There's a battle on the ground. Oh, jeepers, that Dabble Eaksman went very close to the ground. He loses his hurl and passes it. That was Alan Lynch, that was now the ball is still. It's going to go over the far sideline. Yeah. So it's going to be a, a line ball in for Bally Pickers, John. Bally Pickers getting much better in, or much more into the game now and more, more yeah, assertive, aren't they? Yeah, I believe he's got a better start, but I think Bally Pickers are growing into the game now and uh, that goal by MJ there was a great tonic and probably will, should lift the whole team, but we're in the 
we have a bit of a breeze. We probably need to get on the scoreboard and get that two pints of a lead because that wind is probably worth at least three or four pints. Paddy Boggan cuts the ball in, was only as far as one of the... And uh, who's out here? Darren McQuay is trying to get the ball again. The ball is on the ground. The, ball, the, the, fi- the field is a bit heavy today. The, the ball is sticking and there's, a, the, there's no bounce in the ball run. Yet, there's an Abeliks man throwing out the ball, but he's going to give him a free out of the corner. So it's going to be free out from the corner. Yeah, I think the first touches are going to deteriorate because the conditions, slippery, wet conditions. So, like, once the ball hits the ground, it's probably going to lead to a bit of rucks and that, and that's how this free came from Abeliks. David Sheeran has gone out to the far line to take the free. He lifts, drives the ball down. It's going to go as far as uh, Colin Kinst is going. Liam Lawler's getting in behind him in case the ball breaks. The ball is going to break out over the sideline. So I'd say it's going, it, the, the line's, it's going to be a Ballypickus uh, line ball. The ref is giving it towards... Yeah. Uh, now they're changing their minds. Uh, he's uh, waving the ball in for Abeliks. Yeah, the linesman was a bit away there, but the ref was better position. So it's an Abeliks line ball... Uh, yet from where I could see, they went off of Conan Kinsley. So Abeliks now have a line ball at centre of the field. So he cuts it right in. It's, it's blocked by number 10, Belly Pickers, Tom Wheel, and Tom tries to swing, but he's going to give another line ball to Abeliks. It went off of Tom's hurl out over the line. Young Dial is going to try this one. Just outside the 21 metre line. Yeah, I see Liam Lawler dropping back in there to cover the danger zone there in front of Nigel Cannon's goal. So, great ball in. From Cahill Dial, goes straight and it goes wide. So, we have a ball dropped out harmlessly wide for Abeliks as well. He pokes it out this side of the field out as far as uh, Noel, Noel Leach. Noel gets it into his hand. Noel is trying to get away from two lads. The ref is going, is going to give him a free. So, this is uh, Asher's 80 metres out, so... Yeah, Michael McCaw is fencing his chances. He's out, yeah. he wants it ball, and like this will be a great test. It's well past the midfield area, so Michael kind of has his confidence up after his first attempt. Oh, yeah, got a, it's, it's great to see that confident like that and looking for the free and looking to get it. So Mike lifts, strives it in. It's good looking ball. The, go, the goalie is looking up straight, so it must be over the bar. Fair play. So Ballypickers now lead one goal and two points to two points. Great support here for Ballypickers. A great yes. crowd at the match, John. This is a great local crowd here today. Yeah, I think everybody knows everybody, but the, all the eyes are on the field and the Abeliks goalie looking for options to puck it out. So David Sheeran pucks the ball out to, to, the, to the stand side of the field. Ballypickers working harder now. Oh, Jesus, something getting very close on the ground. Oh, it's trip. Oh, Jaber's ref, yeah, trip, tripped him. Fair play to Willie McDonald. He went down over the ball. The yeah, perfect Willie, thing to do. Well, he done exactly the right thing. Got his body in front of the ball and got down low and forced the free from the Abeliks man. His free now is a little bit trickier. It's very near the line. So Mike is going to chan- fancy his chances again. He lets fly. He's going to have the distance anyway. And the goalie is looking straight up. So it's over the bar for Pickus. Pickus getting a little bit of a grip in the game at the moment. Yeah, in which fairness, is a Michael McCaw is free taking. He's excellent so far. And it's having the difference in the game. David Sheeran pucks it out to number two here. He, he's getting out. MJ is tackling him. Leach is tackling him. Leach drives into him. He throws the ball forward. Trun the ball. Mark Rooney knows you're trun it as well. The ball is going down long, very, very near the line. Sam Quinn tries to let the ball ahead of him. He's trying to catch up with Sam Quinn. Sam, it's fly. And Sam puts it over the bar. Yeah, very good score there by Sam Quinn. He kind of... Sent a bit of a dummy, allowed the ball to go goal side the defender and followed it up with an excellent point. So 1-3 three to 3. 12 minutes, nearly 13 minutes gone. The same side of the field over to Mike McKeown, over as far as MJ Lawler. Emma's walking around players, he's trying to turn around. Oh, Jabers, that was a harsh decision on MJ. He, he, he's after blowing MJ for over carrying the ball. MJ was turning around with the ball and he was looking in to see where he was going to go with it. But anyway, it's a free against uh, Barry Pickus. Yeah, MJ looked for options there. He <laughs> saw nothing and decided to turn referee thought maybe it was too much and resulted in this free for Abeliks by Stephen Riley this time. He's looking in, Abeliks forwards making a bit of moves. So Stephen Riley lets fly. The Ballypickers lads are looking up, but it seems to go to wide as well. Yeah, 
lucky enough Noel is looking out again to see where he's going to go Tom Whelan was free for a minute but they moved in on him fairly quick so he's going to just go distance and that's it he's poking right down the centre of the field Paddy Boggan is getting the hurl up that ball breaks in over him there. yeah but the, the ball gets out as far as Alan Inch Alan Inch there's the ball behind him yeah, he gets it back into his hand and he's throwing the ball forward he throws it right to the best man in the field is Mike McKeown Mike is waddling his way around him he gets out in the bit of space and he's, he's got Dara McWee quicking over the bar good score from Dara McWee brilliant play from Mike McKeown though. <coughs> yes. yes, Michael McCaw is very sharp there and no better man than Darren McWee to take the pass and pop it over the bar. The far linesman is coming in to report something to the referee, but don't know what was Gorman. He's, he's, uh, I think he's going back here. I don't know what's the problem or what's... Yeah, I think there or I thought Mike Mikhail caught the ball three times. Maybe that's what it's about. But yeah, well, it's like I think the referee's there to referee the match, not the linesman. So that's an extraordinary decision. An absolute extraordinary decision. It shouldn't happen, John. The play was gone by. Everyone's gone by. So anyway, free. So we don't know what's happened to the score. They're probably just alone. He didn't say anything about it or didn't cross flags or anything. Um, young Quinn is trying to get in here. Yep. Uh, Tim Cass have a cut across him. Colin Kinsler is coming out. Number Joe Berger makes a drive at him. He lets it over his head over as far as Paddy Boggan. Paddy t- turns and lets fly in, but there's no ball to pick his man in here. There's three, four Babalik's man. The ball breaks down as far as Stephen Riley. Dara McWee's on top. Dara has him smothered up. And the ball breaks out, but it's coming out beautiful over towards MJ Lawler. MJ's on the run. They're fouling, they're fouling, but he looks up at the score and he lets it in, but it will have the distance. It's looking up. That is a brilliant score from MJ Lawler. Brilliant battle there from Dara McWee. Tied up Stephen Riley. Yes, I think. Pickus is hurling well now. MJ, brilliant no score. No doubt about MJ. that score. I think that when they can leave the four on the board because that was an excellent score by MJ. David Sheeran letting the ball out short. It's going out the far side of the field to dial. Brought down beautiful by who? <coughs> by Paddy Boggan. Paddy swings it in, but there's no one in around the square. It's going to, it's going to drop out wide. Hard look from Paddy Boggan. Eamon Fitzpatrick's over here. He's looking for a, a short puck out every time. He's trying to pull MJ out of the centre. David Sheeran. Yeah, it looks like MJ could be corner forward there to me. It is he. I think we're... That, that, on a, that's what it looks like, yeah. We're on the water break. Yep. We're on the water break. John, we're hurting well, though. Yes, I think our forwards are very sharp enough there. Mick McCaw is on his game from the freeze. I think Dara McWee is combining well there with the good passes and... MJ is very sharp looking, so I think we're justified to be four points up at this stage. Ah, yeah, they're, they're playing very well and working very hard for each other. Excellent. But I'm very surprised that the ref cancelled that point. The play was gone by. The Abeliques was happy they were going to puck out the ball. And for to disallow that at that late stage was very, very surprising. Ah, yeah, I, I think we're looking at matches on Sundays there, every Sunday, inter-county matches, and I've never seen that actually happen in a match before. Maybe... The ref might give a soft free to make up for it or something, but not to actually disallow the score and give a free out. So we'll just sign off for a minute now with the water break. Bally Pickus leading 1 4 to 3 points. to break us over we're back in the Moor Park again David Sheeran is poking out the ball I wonder understand again Liam Lawler is going high for the long and die Liam Lawler catches it ah, he's belly oh jeepers a, a, a swing down upon him uh, no, a, by number 8 uh, swings around but Aaron Nodi looks in Ar- Aaron, the ball breaks back out as far as uh, K- Kieran Ball Kieran Ball goes in he hits it in in front of Darren McWee great ball in front of Darren McWee Darren McWee's in the ground he throws it over beautiful to Noel Leach Noel is looking up 
Noel gets blocked down. It's going to be a, a line ball in. Noel got blocked down or blind. Brilliant play from Bally Pickers there. Great ball in from Kieran Bowie. And as far as Dara McQuee, Dara on his knees, passed it over as far as Noel Leach. Noel went to swing, but it's blocked over line. But we have a good chance now here. Aaron O'Dea is going to take the line ball. I like the way Bally Pickers is playing today, John. They're working for each other. They're, there's a bit of... Ah, yes, their heads are up like they're looking for one another. They're looking for good passes. And that's unfortunately didn't work out that time now, but... No. But it's back out as far as Arno D again, right under the line here. It's very, very mucky. And uh, Willie McDonald has Willie gets a heavy shoulder, but he, he, he takes and he lets it into the square, but there's no one in the square. It's a bit str- right in. So David Sheeran has a good look down the field. So he's going to puck it a whole way down as far as Colin Kinsley. Will it go over Colin Kinsley's head? Oh, it's going to try to catch it. Tom Whelan is in hard. Arno D is back into action again. No, it's James, James Hennessy. Hennessy. James swings it back into the square and as far as in. MJ puts it back as far as Alan Inch. Alan Inch is out in front of Darren McQueen. Gets the ball. He ploughs into man. He's trying to get out. He gets a free out. A very harmless free from him. He was uh, barging with that ball, in my opinion. But that's not okay. Or Gorman of Balakala has given him a free out for it. So David Sheeran is going to come out to take that ball. Out about... 15 metres out from the, out from the, their own goals. He lifts fairly quick, David Sheeran. Pucks it over under the stand again. It's over the, uh, who's on this side of the field. He leaves the ball behind him. Great work from Willie McDonald. Willie's getting over the ball. You can see the growing ground uh, um, chopping up a little bit. He's out over the line. He throws it over the line. So, oh, Japers, I don't know what happened. The linesman here. Le- Liam Lawler, the man falls over. Liam gets it into his hand. That, it's a bit of a bargy bargy here it's yeah. a very on the line it's right six lines and there's uh, Abelix has lined the ball it's right on the line was being tipped back in yeah, by yeah, Abelix man I don't know it's a wonder he didn't but it's back out as far as uh, Paddy Bogg and Paddy turns around tips the ball as far as uh, no Leach no Leach is on the run he's flying with the ball he throws it forward towards uh, Thomas Whelan Th- Thomas Whelan didn't get it the first time he kicks it back out as far as uh, Thomas Whelan still trying to keep Stephen Riley from taking the ball. Dial stretches up high for the ball. Throws it back out. It breaks back down as far as uh, Conor Bergen. But Conor Bergen leaves it. To, he throws the ball. He throws the ball. He's out over the line. Number eight has the ball. And the ref is going to give a handy free. The crowd is not happy with this at all. After throwing the ball, he gives him a handy free. Whether he can see it or what's right, understand. So, uh, where it's very, very mucky. Babalix was lucky there to get that free, John. Uh, yeah, there was a lot of bodies there. Maybe the ref was badly positioned f- to see the action that we saw, but... So now it's down as far as Kieran Ball. Kieran Ball trying to keep the Abelix man out. He does it for you as well. Number four. It's for Valley Pickers. Me hauled down. He throws it over as far as Conan Kinstall. Conan Kinstall pucks it over the far side of the field as far as MJ. MJ is going strong for this ball. Gets it into his hand. Oh, jeepers. The man is up on his back again. Look, he's fouling him. I don't know what's wrong with the ref. He won't give him a free. This is shocking. And he leaves him behind after someone being up in uh, MJ's back. He leaves the ball, gives him no free. So it's pucked back in as far as Kieran Bowen and uh, Joe Bergen. It's coming out as far as uh, Joe Bergen again. Joe gets the ball out in front of him, tw- swings it in as far as Sam Quinn, number two. But it's g- good work from Timmy Cass. Timmy gets, oh, Jesus, yo. he's going to give him a free. But look where he's giving it, down at her own end. He missed it up here for MJ. But anyway, it's free out for Bella Pickers, luckily enough. Yeah, like... It was a chance for Abelix there for a second, but the Bellapicus players are defending well in fairness to him. Abelix had it open there for a couple of seconds, but the breaking ball kind of favoured Bellapicus and Tim Cass got fouled, I think, kind of into the head, so free from Alka Cannon. So Noel is looking up the field, he's looking at his options. There's two Abelix men standing in the centre of the field, but hopefully the ball will go way over him, and it does too. It's going right over the far side of the field towards MJ Lawler. And your man is fouling him again, he's holding him around the, around the shoulders. Um, Darren McQueen with the ball it must be so- oh jeepers yeah we better not question that one but it looked like it was a 45 for for, um, for Bally Pickers so it's going to be a puck out for David Sheeran again Eamon Fitz is looking for the ball at this side of the field Michael McKeown has gone back in this side and MJ Lawler has gone over the far side so David Sheeran looks down the field he pucks it out her under the stand as far as Liam Lawler and Dial Liam <coughs> at last we're going to get a free Dial ploughed into the back and, and, and Liam Lawler there. So this is scoreable free again for Mike. I don't want to jinx him around, but um, yeah, Liam Lawler there is really had a weak out there very well. Like his body, his field position is very good, and uh, any time the ball comes in within Liam there, he seems to have the experience to know where to be. So Mike McKeown free. The breeze he lifts and strikes. 
And the goalie is looking up, so it's over the blue spot again here in the Moor Park. A brilliant score, fair play to Mike McCone. He's brilliant on the free today. One five to three points with 21 minutes gone. David Sheeran is looking down the free. Aaron O'Dea is falling over his man this side of the field. So Derek, David Sheeran has to go to the far side of the field. Over towards Thomas, Thomas Wheel and Aaron, Aaron uh, Liam Lawler is trying to battle for this ball. It, um, Joe Bergen is uh, kicking it in in front of me, has it in his hand. He throws it back out as far as, but Liam Lawler reads it beautifully. He throws the ball out as far as Arnold D, and he's going to give us a free. And there was no, we were a, a no massive advantage. advantage. Yes. Just running forward, Paddy Boggan had it. This is ridiculous what the ref is doing here. Well, but a whole pitch open in front of us. I think, I think, could have let that one run all right, Paddy. Yeah, it was like, a, apart from anything else, it was advantage all the way. So Liam Lawler, let's fly over as far as, but it's coming. Stephen Riley gets the ball. Or, it wasn't actually Stephen, number nine for Abelique. Back to Stephen Riley now. So Stephen Riley lets it into the square. So it's battle between Kieran Bow and Sam Quinn is out for the. the, the, the Sam, Sam is quick as the break. Breaks the ball out to himself, turns and twists, tries to go on a bit of a solo run. But uh, Michal Downey is ki- keeping his eyes on him. He's over across his far into the square. And it's breaking in the square. So the boys better you lively here. It's number 15. And it's wide ball, thank God. And John, yeah. once again, a little short, a bit of a, a chance for Abeliques again. Yeah, Sam Quinn is the most dangerous forward there from Abeliques so far, and with a, a bit of concern there, but lucky enough for Balafik as the ball went wide. Mike McCone was looking for this ball for a long time, but Noel didn't see him in time. Now it's back to Eamon Fitzpatrick. Michael is moving in and fairly lively. Eamon is coming out with the ball. Eamon is trying to play the ball. Oh, Jabers, he just turned the ball into her. Took off, took a lot of steps. Out as far as James Hennessy. James throws it back as far as Colin Kinsley. Colin is going to let it into the square, and as far as Dara McWee. Derek McWee with the ball. Oh, Jabers, oh, ref, ref, ref. Down as far as oh, Liam Lawler. Liam, Liam has the ball. Liam throws the ball back as far as um, Aaron O'D. Aaron is looking around to see where he can go. He's, he's trying to get the ball. He's after walking into a bit of traffic, and the ref is going to give him a free at last. Yeah, James there is a tidy with the ball there. He has a good sidestep, and he forced Abel Eaksman into fouling him on that occasion. So it's a free in for Mike McKeown again. Right in the very centre of the field. 24 minutes gone almost. Ballypicus leads 1-5 to 3 points. So Mike McKeown lifts. Looking good. Their goalie is looking up once again. So a great score for Mike McKeown. Fair play to him. He's brilliant on the freeze today, John. Yeah, I think that could be his fourth one from maybe five even. like. But I think uh, this chart puck out once again from Avaliks. Over as far as Eamon fits, Eamon Peck pucks it down as far as. And the ball is going to break, and he's going to give the ball over to, to, to Bally Pickers. Fair play to Willie McDonnell, he went strong for. Ah, yeah, I'd like him. Confident. Like, but Bally Pickers, they're leaving that when Michael McCaw is taking the free, Abelix are immediately picking his marker out with a short puck out. Now Mike McCone is this one with it very difficult because it's right in the muck so he picks, picks it up along the line but uh, on his first Stephen Riley and his fierce mucky here all together the ball will not come up for anyone it's in the, in, in purely in the muck it's been breaking back out to Abelique's man he's trying to get through him he, he, oh it's good stuff from he's been fouled and it's out as far as Paddy Bong Paddy won't mess Paddy's going to head into the square in as far as Darren McWee but the ball is going to break as far as and it's going to break wide Yeah, Paddy had time there. He didn't get the proper s- strike in action that he would have liked. There was no one inside. Need David Welsh, David Welsh, and Darren McQueen. He could have just let into the square of the mansion. But anyway, good stuff from Conor Kinsley. Conor Kinsley pucks it to Faris in. MJ's going Harford. Brutal the ball. Look at D- D- Darren McQueen is calling for MJ's taking him on. MJ's going to throw it back out. Can he throw it out to Darren? He does. Yeah, he throws it to Darren McQueen. Darren throws it over as far as Noel Leach. Noel Leach has a chance at the goal. But he puts it over the bar. Maybe the clever thing to do. But it was a chance on for a goal for Sean. Yeah, yeah, the chance was there. Like, but we'll take the point. It was a good combination by two or three. The Ballypickers forwards eventually put over the bar by no leech. So Ballypickers leads one seven to three points. Twenty five and a half minutes gone. David. Sheeran is looking around to see where he's going to go. He's going to go under the stand here again. He's going to Willie McDonald. Willie's trying to guard the ball down as far as Noel Leach. Noel has the ball. Noel is trying to take off. Number twelve is p- swinging the hurling. He's going to t- tap it in as far as Darren McQueen and David, and David Welch. Darren's trying to get the ball, but it falls to David Welch. He passes out as far as 
centre of the field number eight he drops it in into the corner to Tim Cass Tim Cass in the corner forward Tim is standing over the ball Tim is battling brilliantly 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 he's keeping the ball going Tom Whelan comes to help him in fairness to Tom arrived and he's after getting the ball and um, I, he's yeah. given a free in for a block Tom Whelan had the ball so I don't know what's uh, it looked like uh, Thomas Whelan was trying to puck out the ball so he gives a free again him Yeah, I, I wouldn't imagine it was against Tom Whelan anyway. He was trying to make the ball, to clear the ball, but it's a chance now for Conor Bergen maybe to reduce it to six points, but probably difficult out there in that wind. And, but Conor proved against Bellapicus the first day that he is very good at these. Very difficult. 27 minutes gone, 1 7 to 3 points, so Bellapicus could keep a clean sheet. The ball is coming over the far side of the field. It's going. To, it's breaking out, but uh, um, Dial is keeping it in. It's just barely over the line. He's looking up. He's trying to get across the across the square, but he puts it wide. At the, he puts it wide at the other side of the goals. The, um, the line or the umpire is waving it wide at the other side. So Noel is looking around to see where is he going to go. Balapik is now <coughs> retreating back up the field. Um, so Noel, he should get a bit of distance into this uh, as far as Mike McKeown. It's up as far as Noel Leach. It's Noel Leach. Two of them going for it together for the one ball. MJ Lawler's there, but MJ is trying to keep the ball poking forward. It breaks out nicely for Noel Leach. Noel is trying to get through, but there's a lot of lads fouling him. He gets it in, but he gets it into the square. He throws the ball. Oh, Jeepers, what a chop of a hurl. My Jabers, I don't know what, he's just going to give it free for Rush Stop, but it was, uh, Ballapickers is on the way in, it was Paddy Boggan going to go in with the ball, and maybe a scorable chance, there's no such thing as black cards in Hurling, but certainly there should be some bit of a penalty for John. Yeah, yeah, it was kind of a wild swing, all right, but in fairness, the good interception by the Ballapickers man, I suppose, the Avalix man was left with no choice. So Mike McCohen puts it over the bar, fair play to Mike McCohen, absolutely brilliant on the freeze. David Sheeran is looking to puck out the ball. There's an Abelique's man on the ground injured. John, we have a funny setup inside uh, each time when the ball is going in. Uh, we have one man in there. Uh, yeah. When the ball goes in, MJ is coming out. Maybe rightly so. He's a good man yeah, out the field. Like we look at the puck outs, the breeze has a big effect. Like So when we're playing with the breeze, maybe we need more than one in there. But I'm sure this well rehearsed now and they're playing well in general though very very well I'm delighted with Jet. this one I'd like to see lads calling for the ball Arnold D swings it over this side of the field as far as MJ Noel Leach is coming behind him Noel keeps it put puck back out MJ is on his knees trying to get ball Noel Leach is battling for it as well and breaks out but who's he going to break then breaks down to an Abeliques man Abeliques pucks it out this side of the field over as far as Sam Quinn or number 12 it is for Abeliques He's, he's had to go and throw a few gets the ball behind him. So now it's back as far as oh Jeepers, he throws the ball back as far as Tom Whelan. Tom is in the traffic. Tom swings, but he doesn't get too far and he gets it as far as number nine for Ableeks. So it's back into Joe Bergen's hand. Joe's taken off. Joe, Joe's thrown it in. It's going as far as uh, brilliant work from but but it's passed as far as and it's going down as far as Noel Noel Kilcannon. Noel lets fly the far side of the field, but he's going to put out over the far sideline. Good defending from Bally Pickers there, jumping the ball that broke away yeah, from yeah, like have a leaks, had a man inside there and a uh, great interception by Bally Pickers. Like they're very focused on getting the ball away and like additional time at least one minute. At least one minute of additional time. I think if Bally Pickers could have avoided conceding a goal before half time now, that would be a very good lead for a half an hour with the wind. Oh, oh chips I told you that would be very important. The ball is going in, alright, but uh, yet we're on to the 30, 30 minutes, so they're, as they're after reading now here, we have one minute in additional time. So, the, but the ball is going in for, for um, Abeliques, line ball. There's one of Abeliques that's injured here, number 10 for Abeliques. Now, so, it's um, Cahill Dial going to take this one for him. Or is it Liam Dial? It could be Liam Dial is going to take on the far side of the field, maybe. He cuts it in, doesn't get too far. It's, it's going to break as far as Sam Quinn again. Sam has been well bottled up. He throws the ball back as far as Quinn, but there's a heavy battle on here. And he's trying to get through. He throws the ball back out to an Abeliques man. And a bit of a chance for Abeliques on. He throws it over as far as Enda McQuee. Enda McQuee went to put, 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 got a short grip in the hurl and put it over the bar. Point for Enda McQuay. Yes, in fairness, Abeliques kept playing the ball out to the loose man until they got a man in the best position and he popped it over. So, a good point for Abeliques. Just an pop a half so time. So, minute's nearly off. Uh, good puck out for Noel. Noel passes out as far as Arnold D. Arnold D passes out as far as Mick McCall. Mick's going to chance his fancy. He lets it up into the air. It's going to go too far. It's going to go too high for Dara McQuay. 
there was a few balls getting out handy on his wide, all right. That shouldn't happen, but uh, I wouldn't blame Mike McCone. It's a good chance. So it's over as far as the far side of the field, over as far as in the McAvoy. No, it's David McAvoy. David McAvoy is after going to one ball to Pickles. He passed it over the far side as far as Liam Dyle. Liam, Liam Dyle is trying to put the ball forward. And puts it forward as far as... Uh, in Bergen, he pucks it in as far as Noel can. Noel has the ball. And he, oh, no, Noel lets it fall, but he pucks it out to the sideline. And he gets it into it. It's after being knocked out. Eh? And it's wide ball, luckily enough, because Noel had lost the ball there. So we're lucky, John. Didn't end up in the net on us. Yeah, well, I'm surprised that Leaksman didn't have a go at it, at least, anyway, when the goalie was on the ground. But the referee is his hand up now for the half-time, the half-time. break. Yep. Oh, we're very happy the way Balapikas is hurling here. They're, they're putting a bit of spur into it, a bit of jizz about him, John. Yeah, I think if the trainer now and the selectors keep these lads grounded and like they're definitely against a strong breeze for the second half, but the way they're working off the ball, I think that'll counteract some of the wind advantage for Abeliks. But all in all, like a good game of hurling so far and a great credit to both teams for the conditions they have to play out there. And I'm sure both teams will come out in the second half and give it their all regardless of what way the wind is going to blow. Yeah, well, John, maybe when we're playing again to win, maybe as many balls won't get out as handy wide on us. There was a few balls in here, you know, the wind was carrying them out on us. They might stay in play, and, you know, the, the, the balls will stay in play. You yeah. know, you have a chance, so maybe that'll be a slight advantage to us as well. Yeah, I think as the game goes on, like, you know, that, uh, like, the, the chances will be created, like, and sometimes they come easier against the wind than with it, like, you know, because the ball doesn't travel as quick, so, like... I'm sure every leagues will be looking to get maybe an early goal to get themselves back into this game, but it's up to the Velofica's defence maybe to try and make sure they don't. But All right, thanks, John, for that. So we're going to sign off for half-time here in a blustery on Moor Park.
The game is starting up again in Amour Park. The ref turning the ball. There's a lot of people standing around the field. There's a the the the, 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 the field is about oh, Japers. The ref, I don't know oh, Japers. He's going to give a free in for Abeliques, but he, uh, Ger Bergen, Ger Bergen was uh, pushing forward. But anyway, it's a free in for Abeliques. First free, a chance for um, Connor Bergen to pull back the the score a bit. The Ballapicks man had his hands out and all, as you can see in the camera. Um, so he's leaving the ball down. It's about five, six metres inside the centre of the field. So a very scorable one. So Conor Bergen looking up. Yeah, it's over the bar. So Abeliques have one pull back. Five points to one eight. So now it'll be interesting to see how far will Noel's puck out go. Noel is looking down the field. He probably won't go short. I'd say he just puck it out into the centre of the field. Liam Lawler is the man here in the centre if you could give it to him. But he goes up over Liam Lawler's head out as far as Paddy Boggan. There's a lot of lads going up for it in the centre of the field. Uh, Joe Bergen is ploughing forward again. He's after passing the ball over as far as uh, David, David's... Uh, and uh, Cahill Dyle is put over the bar. So Abeliques have to pull him back too with the, with the wind. Sam Quinn, Abeliques is going back out the field farther for Noel's puck out. Noel is looking around. He has uh, Timmy Cass here in front of him. So he's going to go along. He's looking around. He, go to far, he should go to the far side of the field. Liam Lawler's on the far side of the field. That's where he goes over as far as Liam Lawler. Who's over there? Paddy Boggan. Paddy's trying to gu guide the ball. Does, gets it, scoops, scoops it up as far as... Um, Liam Lawler has the ball back. Liam lets fly in to this side of the field. It's going, it's going to fall back as far as Mike McKeown. Mike brings it out on his hurl. Mike's looking at the goals. Mike lets it in. It's going to uh, the, the win. Darren McQueen oh. buries it in the net. Oh. One-handed swing. Darren McQueen gets a goal. You can hear the crowd from Bally. But we have a good support here today. Bally Pickers are a good crowd. Had. So a goal for Bally Pickers. Yes, it's only what they deserve in around the square. The yes. ball is travelling out for David Sheeran. Up goes uh, Willie McDonald. Willie, oh, the ball slips through... Uh, Michal down his hurl. Me, 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 he has it in his hand. Liam Lawler's on his knees, but the ball breaks away from Conor Bergen. Has no hurl. It goes in as far as Kieran Bow. And uh, who's coming here? He's trying to keep the ball out. It's been blo blocked out. It's gone out over the line, and it's going to be a 45 in for um, in for Abeliques. Uh, Gorman, the ref, he's calling over an old leech. He's giving a bit of a lecture, whatever he, whatever way he done there. I don't know, but he's warning him. He's giving him a good lecture, but he's not giving him a card, so that's okay. So now Valley Pickers leads 2 8 to 6 points. Only two minutes gone in the second half. So we have plenty of action in the two minutes, John. Yes, and certainly the raids up the field might be few and far. And if we can, they're perfectly positioned that time. Used his head. The man that led this Valley Pickers have a leagues combination team to a final nearly 10 years ago at under 21 level. But today he's a sole Valley Pickers man and he crashed that ball to the back of the net there. and So Conor Bergen has another point for Abeliques. He's got in the freeze as well. So now Bally Pick is two way at Abeliques, seven points. Noel is looking down the field. Liam Lawler is out the centre field. The ref wants him to puck it on. He's looking down. James Hennessy is coming this side of the field. And the ball is going to go over their heads over as far as Thomas Wheel and they're all it's a good clash in the air. Abeliques wins the clash. The ball has been he's been well bottled up in the McWeed is. And he lets the ball in as far as Kieran Ball. Kieran Ball is going first for the ball. Dyle is going behind him. Dyle is going to plow into his back. And the ball is uh, Timmy Cass is battling for Dial is battling for Kieran Bow. The ball is underground. It's being broke out. Uh, Cahill Dial has a Kyle tr throws the ball out as far as number twelve. Number twelve is bottled up. He throws the ball back as far as Sam Quinn. Sam Quinn dribbles the ball. Liam Lawler has it. The ball goes back as far as Connor Kinnis. Connor being fouled and fouled and fouled and he's down his knees again. And the ball is going to go back in. It's going to be a line ball in for Abeliques. So Cahill Dyle is going to take this one. I'm looking in around the square. Kieran Bow is going back in around the square. Liam Lawler is going back in to stand in front of him. Cahill Dyle is trying to get up in a tough of grass here. So he's going to cut the ball. Could be dangerous in around the square. Cuts it for very hard in around the square. Liam Lawler blocks the ball. Liam Lawler is trying to get into his hand. <coughs> and a, a good battle here with Liam Lawler. And number seven, Colin Kinston, the uh, Bleaks man, has the ball. Has he's trying to, he throws the ball out as far as... And he gets a heavy shot, but he doesn't mind that. Kieran Bow and he plays it out and he, Kieran Bow is still coming with the ball and he throws it out the far side of the field as far as Tom Whelan Tom Whelan does brilliant work 
So does that, but the ball has been broke out as far as that, but leaks out as far as Enda McQueen. Enda McQueen is trying to get the ball in. He's throwing the ball over as far as Sam Quinn. Sam Quinn lets it in around the square. Who's in around there? It's going as far as uh, Noel Culcannon. It's going to get, but Noel is fouled. He's on his knees, but he gets the ball into his hand. He wants to throw it out. He has men in front of him. He has a men in front of him. He's going to give him a free out. Two Abeliques men, oh no, one Bally Pickers man, one Abeliques man on the ground here. It's number, it's Paddy Boggan is on the ground. Paddy has a bad back, John. He's on the ground here and he's feeling his back. Noel is coming back in across square, but it's going to be a free out for Ballapicus anyway. Yes, it is. Danger there for a few seconds there, but. But. Ballapicus. They're defending well, Derek. The, probably the f ground conditions hard to keep your foot in, and with the result, the play breaks down, but Abelix. They have had half chances of goals, but so far, no very clear cut. But except for maybe one early in the game when Noel Concanon made a great save in the Balafikas goal. But for Balafikas, they're going to be under pressure. The wind is a factor, and it's going to be a, a long half or maybe a long remaining of this half. But, but so far, Abeliques are putting under pressure. Balafikas are holding them out. So it's a free out anyway for Balafikas. Noel Concanon is running across to take it. Paddy Boggan is back up, very important for the Paddy get going to the field to rub his back there and he's going again to take a good dude to put Paddy down. A hard man, strong player, gives it his all every single day. So Noel has a puck out, it's almost on the line. So he's looking down the field, he's looking at his option. There's certainly no short ones anyway. So he's going to lift and give it as far as he can. He pucks it over the far side of the field, it's over as far as MJ Lawler. It goes over his head. MJ's in battling for the can I see with the pillar here it comes out oh there's a chop there Noel Leach is trying to get into his hand can't get his hand Aaron Rodi is trying to get his hand but MJ has it in his hand fair play he's been fouled he's been fouled MJ MJ lets it along the ground the ball has been taken on who's in Noel Leach there's a heavy swing of Noel Leach too and the ball has been switched around but Noel Leach is back on the end Noel is trying to get him but Noel doesn't get it the first time MJ doesn't get it second. Abelix is poking it out they're getting it out they're throwing it out the field but it's out as far as Paddy Boggan the man that was on the ground I mean, uh, Paddy swings in across the square Darren McWeez I think there's going to follow Harmsley White is it Jeff it, went, it just didn't get across the square well enough, John. Yeah, no, it was a difficult angle for Paddy to, but it would have been a great score. So now as you can hear over the microphones there, Ricky Nolan is on the field. Tom Whelan has given it all. Tom is getting a great reception here because he's after giving it everything. He's been clapped in the back by Mark Rooney. So David Sheeran has a puck out now. Sam Quinn is in front of Colin Kinston. That's where it's going to land here. Colin is playing. Colin goes up and beats it down lovely. The ball breaks over this side of the field, but breaks over as far as David McAvoy. <coughs> David lets it in very, very quick. So it's in between Kieran Bow and, and Dial. Dial puts up the hand for the ball, breaks down. Kieran Kieran Bow is kicking out in front of Liam Lawler. Trying to get number five swings it over the far side of the field, over as far as Noel Leach. Noel has it in his hand. Noel likes to run with the ball. There's a swing on him. There's a swing on him, and he gets the ball, but he gets it into the far side of the field. It's over as far as Darren McQueen. A good ball in. Daramac, oh, James Daramac, he's on the ground. He's after sliding. He gets the ball back as far as uh, who's in. Oh, James, the ball breaks a good bit from Paddy. Oh, jeepers. But Paddy gets the ball over his over, over three. I believe that's head. Throws it out as far as uh, Ricky Nolan. Ricky is trying to get forward. Nicky throws it out as far as Daramac. Daramac, let's fly. And Daramac gets it back. No, sorry. It's going to yes, be a, a, pint. a dangerous ball. But oh, it's over the bar. I thought the goalie got a tip on it, John. We needed yeah. that score bad. Yeah, go, go. Keep, keep, keep the scores going. David Sheeran pucks it out the far side of the field. It's David McAvoy is running, but Kieran Bowe is making a massive run over the far side of the field. He has the ball in his hand. He's looking around. He's, he's been uh, marshaled. He throws the ball out as far as... And he throws it back as far as Aaron O'D. Aaron O'D is looking at Liam Lawler as well. Balapikas have a few chances. Uh, Aaron O'D pucks it right up in the air. It's going to fall as far as Ricky Nolan. Ricky Nolan has a first chance. Ricky breaks it back out as far as Aaron O'D. Aaron has it in his hand. Aaron is looking forward. He's looking to see where he can go. He feels like heading low. But no, he got blocked down. It's Stephen Riley's after coming over the ball. He looks ahead. He's after getting... He, they're, they're blocking him up. He throws the ball out as far as Paddy Boggan. Paddy breaks the ball forward. But it's going, there's three Abeliques mans there. And they're looking in. The ball is going to land in here as far as uh, David McAvoy. David fumbles the ball. He stumbles, but he gets it. He recovers himself. Gets the ball. He's thrown around. He throws it back as far as Dial. Dial is trying to break through. Dial throws it back out as far as MJ Lawler. And it's going to be a free in. Brilliant battling from Balapikas there, John. Yes, there was Balapikas. There in numbers putting pressure in the Abelique slid in possession and referee up with the play saw the throw and as a result a chance for Michael Boggan to add to his tally here and we have another point a beautiful thing 
Mick McKeown they head over as far as MJ Lawler for that last point you can hear the batter pickers cows making more noise here David Sheeran is looking up the field see if I can go Thomas Moore is for a half double league's team Abel is behind a, a sub the ball has been let over as far, as far as Aaron O'Dea Dial goes up for the ball fucking breaks very very favourable over as far as Joe Bergen over as far as Conor Bergen Connor is looking around. He's looking to see where he can go. He lets it over straight across the field, but he's going to be smaller up. And who comes out? A sprinter work from Timmy Cass. Timmy's trying to keep him out, but he's able to go around him. He lets the ball in low as far as uh, number nine, Enda McWee. Enda McWee is looking around. Enda's trying to get the ball back to himself, but that was a, he thrown it up in the middle of a hip of Bala Pickers. Lads, the ball is still breaking out. Who's going to bring this out? Paddy Boggan is trying to get out as back as far as David McAvoy. He's trying to throw it out as far as man. He's got, the ref is going to give him a free in. But Ballapickers is battling great here, John. Ah, yes. Like, Ballapickers are chasing every man. Every time an Ebelix man gets the ball, there's a number of Ballapickers that's queuing up. They're up for this final, and they're putting their heart and soul into trying to win every ball. And maybe that tackle on that occasion a little bit late, which presents Ebelix now with a handy enough chance for a pint. Or will he have a chance at the goal? He's standing over, but I imagine he'll take his pint. 11 minutes gone in the second half, so he throws it over the bar. So now it's eight pints for Abelique's, two goals and ten pints for Ballypickers. Double scores at the moment. Hopefully we can keep it that way for a bit longer. Yes, the pressure that Abelique's behind there at the start of the second half has been wilted by the Ballypickers boys and the wind is still a factor and any slip and could change everything. But for now... So the ball broke here, but Arnold D got a late tackle there. The referee was only got a belt after the ball. Uh, I'd say it's in his ribs or somewhere now, but the ref is stopping the time. He knows he's injured. Colin Kinsel setting up on a piece of grass here out this side of the field. It's very, very wet. Arnold D is, is, is in agony at the moment. He's bending down. He's trying to get the hurl. He's looking around. Mark Rooney is giving him some advice. He's calling him just back behind the ball, and he's going to t- talk to him for one minute. So I think um, Mark Rooney is going to be off Arno D for a minute because Arno's after getting injured now and he was, wasn't feeling great. So the ref, the, the, the ref didn't uh, give him a chance. He's after being off Arno D, but he didn't get the sub in. So I don't know why he didn't wait to get the sub in. Now the ref is giving him a free again. So Arno D is off. Conor Rohn is on the field now, number 19 for Malapika, so this is another chance for um, Conor Bergen. Yeah, I think maybe Malapika for Aaron should have been left on the ground there until the subs was made, because I think this is forced this free now for Evelyks. Now, so the, the free was taken. It didn't, didn't go the distance. It was laying around the square. The ball pulled on the ground, but it struck the side net, and it looked dangerous for a minute. I went yeah. silent for a minute to best, see what the outcome best. was, but we're after surviving it. Yeah, that was a great goal chance for Leaks, but hit the side net, and so, well, if he could survive it. Now Liam Lawler has the ball. Liam lets it in. This is the first ball that's after landing the square in a long time between Darren McQueen and uh, Dave Joe. The ball drops low. They're, they're battling hard for them. MJ Lawler's in top of it. They're all in there. But hook breaks out. Beautiful for Mick McKeown. Mick McKeown lets it across, but absolutely missed Darren McQueen. He just went behind him. Just a little bit. Noel Leach has it. We still have a great chance here. Noel pulls, but the ball is broke back over the far side of the field. Number five, and there's a... Swing, oh, two ball picks lads on the ground. Abel Eakslads has it. He's breaking the ball. He swings it in. It's going to fir- go as far as uh, Stephen Riley and Liam Lawler. Liam Lawler's first one there. Liam breaks it out in front of him, but that's no good because it's broke out as far as David McAvoy. David McAvoy's played the ball out in front of him. He throws it out as far as Enda McWee. Enda McWee is trying to get forward, but he can't. But Pickers is working hard. But Enda McWee has it still in his hand. And he's trying to get away. He has lost the ball on the ground. But the pickers are trying to get in their hands. There's a ball broke down. I was telling you, it's not easy to get off the ground here, but it's breaking out. And, um, Number eight, in the McWee gets a good old shoulder. He's down on the ground again. He throws the ball back over, and he throws the ball. It's going to be a free out. Great work from Ballet Pickers. They're really working hard to battle them up very, very well there, John. Yes, yes. Uh, we probably had a chance of a score of another end. We went for that great pass, the perfect pass. Didn't work out. Pressure, pressure came back down the field, and lucky enough for Ballet Pickers, I suppose, the Ablix man was judged to have thrown the ball, which leads to a free out here for North Buchanan. So, maybe this one more act in this period now will lead to another water break and there's still 
eight points in it so chances are coming and being missed by both sides but there's still eight points in it and Balafikas will be happy enough for that. Noel pucks it over the far side of the field over as far as MJ Lawler. MJ gets it into his hand. Fair play to MJ. MJ is turning. He's looking around to see what he can do. He packs it up but the ball was blocked. He was trying to hand pass it and it was still blocked out his hand. So now it's been poked out as far as uh, Connor. Ronan, Ronan is trying to break the ball. There's a big battle over this ball but the uh, Leaksman has it in his hand. He's ploughing out and he's swinging around his dial and he gets a free out. So I thought we had a chance there but the ball didn't, didn't break favourably for us. So it's going to be a free out from Abelix, so maybe 30 metres out from the wrong goal. So it's going to land in a dangerous area up here. The wind will carry it in near the kitchen. So, Yeah, I think Abelix are desperately looking for the goal to get them back into this game. And this free from the Abelix goalie, David Sheeran, should drop in the danger zone. So it'll be frantic dis- defending once more from Balapikas. So David Sheeran lifts. He swings it over this side of the field. It's going to fall under Willie McDonald. Willie gets the hurl up. It's up it'll be high from brilliant stuff from uh, Willie McDonald. Willie's being fouled. Will, he, will he's try, trying to, he's weakened, but he gets it out this side of the field, but he's far as Sam Quinn, but who goes up for uh, Ricky Noll, and Ricky Josh, and Ricky gets it into his hand, brilliant work from Ricky Noll, Ricky swings, that's brilliant work from Ricky Noll, the ball comes down as far as uh, uh, Paddy Boggan, Paddy's after doing that twice, steps on, he's after passing as far as Mick McCaw, the best man in the field, Maggie's trying to take him on, he's, he's overthrown it over, far as far, Darryl McQueen, Darryl McQueen comes out, Darryl looks at the goals, Darryl lets fly, and Darryl puts it over the bar, oh dear no, wide ball, wide ball, we couldn't believe it went wide. Uh, the, the ref is calling for the water break we should have had a score there John that would have been an inspirational score alright but uh, couldn't have been a lot wide but it was wide but anyway we're into the second water break here in the Moor Park at 2.10 to 8 points in favour of Alaficus Now we're back on after the water break again. Abelix is bringing on a sub here now, just right at the at the water break before we start back up at the water break. So young Egan is on, I think, is it? I don't know who's coming off. So now David Sheeran is going to puck out the ball. David is driving over this side of the field. It's going to land down with... Uh, oh, someone put up their hand, but it didn't get it. Stephen Riley puts down the hand for the ball. It's been pucked back out. It's been brought beautifully. Uh, who, who comes out this side here? The ball, it's, it's by Conor Rona, but he swung, but he didn't know that Bleaks that was so near him. It's after, and it's falling back out as far as Conor Kinsley. Conor gets into his hand, Donald does the real right thing. He swings first time, it's into the best man in the field, Mick McKeown. Mick pushed it over, far side of the field, over as far as MJ Lawler. MJ has a chance, he's going to take him on. Oh, a savage swing for number 17. But MJ looks up and he's swinging, and it's dropping, dropping. But hard luck, there was only inches, they were looking until the very last second. It was barely, do I wait to the post way, that's all. It was hard luck, but it should have been. It was a savage shot from number 17, I believe. Number 17, he should have brought back the ball and gave him a, gave him a, a, a free. It was JJ Murphy that swung that, 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 that. swung that. So now it's breaking out as far as uh, Connor Bergen. Joe Bergen, he's Joe, Joe, Joe's coming, so he tips it over as far as I believe. have a bit of a... But and the ball has been brought out. It's been kept out by some of Sam Quinn. is the quickest man to break. Uh, Conan Kinston's coming out and it's going to be a free in... 
for Abelix. There's a there's a bad pickers man cramped in the square. Will the goalie see? Will the ref see? So Gorman, the ref in Balakal, is going to hold up play. He's putting the, the stopwatch on. Uh, it must be uh, James Hennessy's on the ground, I think, is it? Yeah, James won't stay down too long. He's not forgetting an injury, but now it's going to be staying around the square again. So he's, he breaks in, but it's only gets as far as the corner. He throws it back as far as Sam Quinn. Sam is going to try and run with the ball, but the ball has been blocked out of his hand. Colin Kinsley is trying to get into his hand. Sam Quinn is trying to get into his hand. He scoops the ball out as far as uh, David McAvoy. David is looking at the goals. David lets fly, and it's going to go to the far side of the field, but it's a wide ball. I believe so. Ball picker survives. A big thing. And, Uh, the ref here is calling back one double leaks that's because they're giving him guff and it's David McAvoy's name is going to be ta taken because he's, he's after giving impetus to the ref about that last ball but we could see it here perfectly clear it was definitely a wide ball the linesman could see it but David wasn't happy so he's getting a yellow card for himself So there's another sub coming on for Valley Pickers. Jerry Whelan is coming on. So Jerry Whelan is in for Paddy Boggan. Paddy's old back was at him. He fell heavy there at one stage. Uh, no, it's no leeches. We don't know who's going where. We're just waiting now. We're, 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 there's no one come off the Valley Pickers. Oh, Paddy Boggan is walking off. He was after being taken in corner forward to rest him for a few minutes. Now Noel Kikan is going to let out this ball. It's going out, it, out, out to the centre of the field. Out as far as that. Uh, uh, who catch it? David McAvoy catch it. He passes it straight in in front of uh, Stephen Riley. Stephen Riley. Stephen Riley is trying to get through. Stephen Riley's going for steps. And the ball breaks off the old Kieran Bow is going out together. But Connor Bergen has it. Connor looks up. Connor is going to go for the point. And Connor puts it wide. Looking up. Great defending. He struck the post. So Bally Pickers survives it again. John, we're lucky there. A few breaks. Yeah, yeah. When the ball hits the timber, luck is on your side. Like, and in fairness, Tyler Leakes, the, they are pressing. They are trying to get back into this game. There's 10 minutes, the time, plenty of time for them to do it. So, but MJ Lawler gets up for this ball, John. Yes. But the ball breaks. Uh, it's been held up by Liam Lawler, but Abelix yes. is pressing forward. Space, Number nine so better yeah. get across James Hennessy. Go across him, James. James Naves is a bit late to go across him. Whatever he happened for, I don't know. Uh, James Hennessy left it a bit late to go over and tackle him. Abelix has one goal back. Uh, James Hennessy is stretching himself on the ground. Yeah, that goal has been coming there for a while. For, for like, a while, yeah. So Balavikas are in the back foot. One so eight to two ten. So will be very important. Ten minutes. Ten minutes to go. Noel is looking down the field. So Noel is going to puck the ball out. Balavikas. I want to win this. Dial is under number seventeen. Is under Ricky Noel and Ricky is trying to swing. Dial swings hard. Breaks the ball down as far as Sam Quinn, but Sam misses the ball. Out comes Tim Cast. Tim is being held. The ref's not giving him a free. Jeez, he was being held around the back. I don't know what happened there. The ball has been broke out as far as Conor Kinsley. Sam Quinn is swinging around, lads. Sets it over the far side of the field. Number eight, as far as David McAvoy. David McAvoy is putting it over the far side of the field. David McAvoy has it over the bar, but Tim Cast was being fouled there, and the ref didn't see. It, but not to worry. Nine minutes left, one, nine, two, ten, only four points in it now, so Noel Kulkanen is going to puck it out again over the far, over, over the far side of the field, I'd imagine. We're getting it hard to get the ball down to the, the forwards. Noel, let's fly over this side of the field again. It's going to go, the, bo the ball breaks down again, but it's into Conor Kinsley's hand, Colin is trying to go forward. But he's blocked down, oh, the ball. Oh, chase the ball was over the line, they're trying to back out as far as Sam Quinn, the linesman didn't even give it. And the ball has been taken in as far as Noel Cannon. We were lucky there. The ball was over the line and the linesman didn't give it. Mark yeah. Rooney knows it as well. I saw it as well. Yeah, I think that's poor farm by the yeah, umpire. Poor farm. Very poor very, farm by him. He was able to yeah. be very busy in the first half on yep. the other side and he couldn't see that. So. Yep. so Paddy Boggan is back on the field again after getting a rub there. Eight minutes left in this game plus extra time. So no leech is off. Paddy Boggan is back on the field. So Noel is going to puck out the ball. He's pucking out the far side of the field over as far as MJ Lawler. As long as it goes over their heads, it does a breaks. Um, Paddy or Hennessy chops the ball. 
to two, number two has the ball, he's the ball on the ground, but he throws it back out as far as uh, in the McWee, but who gets it? Oh, there's a Black man hard in top, he has kicked the ball back as far as oh, uh, MJ, or MJ doesn't get the ball up first time, there's a but the referee is going to give him a free at last. It's a long time since we got a free, so we deserve that one, MJ Lawler. The ball wasn't in around the square for a long, long time, John. No, they're few and far between, so we'll be hoping Dara maybe can latch on to the end of this one if it drops short, but it's a good distance out. I think Michael McCaw is not even coming out to take it this time. It's against the wind. There's a lot of space back here in the Bell of Eagles back line, so I'll tell you, I believe we're looking to get back quick too. Wide ball for Mike McCone, just a miss so many, but and was taken by Liam Lawler down. So David Sheeran is going fast at his ball. It's going to go over this side of the field. It's going to land where Colin Kinsley, Colin, yeah, and Sam and Joe Bergen, the ball breaks. Colin Kinsley gets into his hand. Oh, Jabers is a uh, pretend again. I can't understand why the ref's not giving him a free. And the ball has been, there's a lot of uh, hands and everything in here, but the ball has been brought back out as far as Balapikas has been come back, but it's going as far as Dyle. Dyle gets himself and he gets it into his hand. Dyle swings and gets it in, but he took the ball over the line. Balapikas done great work there. Yeah, I think the linesman is making up for his little error there a few minutes ago, and he's given us this one, but it was a genuine line ball, a hard earned, but hard looking at Blakesman, nevertheless, he made a great attempt to get the ball into the danger zone once again. The biggest problem I see here on this line, this line is shocking dirty, John, to get the ball off of the taunt, the, taunt ah, lift, yeah, once the ball hits that particular patch, the patch there, there, it's not going to come up easy. No, and I'd say the same now, Colin Kinster trying to take a, a line ball off, but it's not going to be easy. So Colin is trying to, trying, 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 trying to get the ball up. Double Eaks, Crowder's roaring at Colin Kinsley to take it, but you can see how it already predicted. So don't mind him, Colin, take your time there now. He gets it into breaking forward as far as Jerry Wheel and Jerry. Hits it in. Oh, Jabers, the ball is breaking this side of the field. There's a big run on for this ball. It's Mike McCone and, and Bergen, but Bergen gets over the ball. And he Jabers, Kriper, so I don't know how he gave a free because he just went down over the ball. McCone went strong for it. Yep. Dial throws that out of the red. The referee's not doing anything about who the linesman is there. The ref is kicking back the ball. He's warning. Uh, yeah, I think. He shouldn't he, be throwing it in the right, but anyway, he's, 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 yeah, but he's uh, trying to make David go back with the ball. It, the, the linesman is giving him a bit of handy spin up here. Five minutes left. One, nine, two, ten, four points. So David Sheeran lifts the ball. David lets it in around the square. Conan Kinsler's under it. He bucks the ball out. It's coming out as far as this side of the field. There's a good few ball of pigs there. It's Conan Kinsler trying to get in his hand, but no. Who has it? Paddy Boggan has it. Let's over this side of the field. Don't head off. MJ, there's a big swing on MJ. Paddy Boggan is trying to get into his hand. Paddy gets it into his hand. He lets it over as far as uh, Ricky Nolan. Ricky let, oh, Jabers, Ricky didn't get much of a puck of it. And it's going to be dropped in, and it's going to drop, drop, drop wide. Yes. Yeah, the let off for Bella Vegas there. The let off for Ricky. Chance. Yep, Ricky got out in the open, didn't get a good swing at it, didn't get a good puck on it. We're getting hard to get the ball down the field. Noel Cullcannon. Paddy Boggan is looking for the ball. That's a good sign, there's lads looking for it. Noel goes the far side of the field over as far as MJ. MJ is trying to get out in front of number two, yeah, Jay McDonald. But, but uh, he has the ball, got him. He's gone past MJ. He's making a good run for the goals. And he's going to puck it in around the square. There's a waffle battle in the square. And bring it down. And uh, Kieran Ball had dealt with it and are trying to get out the ball. Kieran Ball. And the referee is back as far as number 12. And it's a goal for Abelix. Bad mistake from, from Bally Pick as the ball was supposed to go in there. There's two players down on the field. Now you can see 2-9, 2-10. The game is closed on us, John. Yes, this could be in for a drama. Some people predicted that it could be very tight. And now that's exactly how it's turning out to be in Abelix. In a great position now to force a drama match would Three minutes, three and a half minutes to go. So now the Abelique's big crowd are on their feet here. There's a bit of a stoppage here now for a moment. Dying down might suit Bally Pickers a little bit. Colin Kinsler stretching out here. Four minutes to go. Two, two nine to two ten. One pint in it, folks. So it's going to be a tight finish. The next few balls is going to be vital. Yeah, the yeah. 
Yeah, but Leaks are on their feet. Noel is going to puck out the ball. Noel is looking when he gives it short. The ref is blown for the puck out the ball. Noel pucks out this side of the field. It's going to go under Ricky Nolan. Ricky cuts up the hand for it. Didn't get on the ball. It's been brought out. Liam Lawler has the ball. The ref has given a free, rightly so, to Liam Lawler. But it's back, so it's a free in for Liam Lawler. This will be good. He got in around the square. Pickers need to score badly. Noel Concan is coming out to take it. He's calling Liam Lawler. Liam is looking in to see where is he going. So Noel is out. Liam is still looking. <coughs> We're wondering what's going on here. So Noel is out to take it. This will be good in the square now. We're looking for a ball in around the square this long time. So as you can see, two minutes left in a ballet. Pickers leading by a pint. The ball drops in around the square. There's a good few lads going for it. There's a lot of battling. The ball breaks out. Where is it breaks out on Abelique's lad? The ball is on the ground. Oh, Jabers, the ball broke out. Who has it? It's out as far. Oh, Jabers, we didn't get it first time. Pulls on the ground. The ball is coming out for Abelique's though. And it's number seven for Colin Kinsel. But the ball breaks back to an Abelique's lad. Abelique's man has it. He's trying to get ahead. A referee gives him a free. Oh, my God. There was a, a, a lot of messing done in there. Four minutes. So four minutes. I don't know where they're getting the four minutes out. I don't know. Nor is it number four. What's we we're looking to see what the story is. Additional time, at least four minutes. At least I four didn't minutes. see anyone going in and asking the ref that, John. I don't know where they got the uh, four minutes. So. Not even the lanes. Oh, oh sorry, I didn't see the game. It's so exciting, yeah. 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 <laughs> Colin Kinsley is down on the ground here. The ref has a stopwatch. He's, he's after injuring himself somewhere, so Carl, they're, they're looking to be on the sub, but they better put it out, they better get it figures up quick. The ref, don't come off the field, Colin, until someone goes on to it, no matter what happens. He's, he's, he's waiting to get the figures up yet. Yeah. Number 26 is going in for Valley Pickers. <laughs> Evan Hennessy, it must be, I think. So it's going to be a free for Conor Bergen out past the centre of the field. Brocken didn't pop the thing. So Evan Hennessy is on the field player. Free in for Conor Bergen. Just out, 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 out past the centre of the field. So Conor Bergen is looking. He has a slight bit of win. So he's looking in. To see what he can do with this one. So he lets fly. It's gone. It looks to be coming out to the wide and wide. Thanks be to God. The time is up, the full time is up, but that's no good. We're giving four minutes extra time. Can Bally Pickers survive the four minutes? Bally Pickers by one pint. So Noel has to puck out this ball now. There's lads running there. Mick McCone is running the far side of the field. And it, no, no, Noel wants to be letting them over to him. The ball has been pucked out this side of the field again. There's a lot of... <laughs> the ball is broke down. It's been broke as far as number five. And it's con, 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 Evan Hennessy has the ball. And he's going to give him a free, a nice soft free. Thanks be to God. That, 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 no, fair play, Evan is only in a minute but he has done the job for the first minute anyway so there's a minute gone, we're leading by a pint Noel Cannon is coming out to take this again I couldn't. yeah Evan there would have a good man for a free from that distance too so, but yeah. the clock uh, is ticking but there's another three minutes to three go three minutes to go, so this will land in around the kitchen we better make use of this one so Noel is looking He's letting fly. It's going to land in the square. There's a very, uh, absolutely perfect in the square. There's lads swinging all and there's a hand up. It's in the goals, is it? It's a goal for Barry Pickers. We're in action again. Someone got into the net. I don't know who it was. We're leading by four. David Sheeran lets it over the far side of the field. Come on, Barry. Come on, Tim Cass. Keep the ball out. What happens? That's it. Tim Casson and, and Sam Quinn is over the far side of the field. But he's making a pocket out again. That's it. Yeah, so now the, re the, re the ref the ref is making it go back. This is an exciting finish. Two nine three ten. We're up four points. The ball has been poked back in. A short ball over as far as Enda McQueen. End is looking up the field to see where he's going to go with it. The ball has been dropped in around the square again. Liam Lawler is under. Le Liam is reading the ball. Liam has it in his hand. Fair play to Liam Lawler. He's trying to get it out. He lets it out as far as um, Jerry Wheel and Jerry throws it over as far as number five. Number five is not able to get out as quick as Sam Quinn. Sam is swinging around. Don't, don't follow him. Don't follow him. Don't follow him. Don't follow him. Don't, that's it. Oh, Jabers, please keep it on. 
Yeah, the, 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 the Abelique's man has it, number 12. He can't get into his hand, it's gone again. Balapikas is trying to get up. This is an awful fumble here on the ground because the ball is so dead, but there's a couple of Abelique's that it's Dial. Dial, Dial gets a few shots. He's on the ground and he's going to blow him for over. Carry it, it's a free out for Balapikas. You can hear the Balapikas go. Brilliant work from Balapikas, totally bottling him up. At this stage, there's nearly three minutes gone. We're four points up. Evan Hennessy is coming, Noel Cannon is coming out. There's no one in around the ball, in around the ball, pick a square. They better get back in there. Darren McWee, get back in. The ball is going to land. Get back in, Paddy Boggan. Because uh, Noel is going to land in and around there. There's an Abelique. I can't understand. There's two yeah. Abelique. Exactly where it's going to land, there's a free uh, Abelique's man. So I don't know what's going on. They're not getting themselves organised in there. And that's exactly where he puts it. But it's over this side of the field. Darren McWee and Mick McKeown goes for it. The ball breaks down. And she, oh, Jaber's referee, yeah, he has to give a free in for Mick McCone. The, t- the four minutes is almost up. We only have 30 seconds get There's a, a free in for Bally Pickers. Sorry, John, I'm taking over here, but, no, but this is very, a good free very, in. Very exciting here in Amour Park in this Junior Hurling Championship final. And Mike McCow, very good from the freeze all day, but the pressure is on now to extend the Bally Pickers lead. But Mike Yeho bends left, strikes, and puts it straight over the blue spot. The four minutes is almost up. We're Back leading by four points again. We have a saver. Yeah. David Sheeran is poking the ball out this side of the field. It's coming out as far as style. There's, there's a big battle on between and the ball breaks down, but it's on the ground. Oh, Jabers is free in for Valley Pickett. The ball broke again. The Valley Pickett is working ferocious hard here. Number seven. And number four has it. Straight again. He said it's into his. He said he said he said it was into it. He's going to give a free in for Abelique's. Sorry for shouting there, but that was a sh- he went straight for him. No, he said he hit, him, he hit him square, but I don't know about that. Well but the, the time is up, the time is up. Dial is trying to puck that's over the ball. The four minutes and four and a half of the 30 seconds is up. And we're four pints up, so I don't know what's going on here. Five. Dial. Five pints. I'm wrong, it's five pints up. Mick McCone put the last one over. The ref is making him go back to the far side. We're five pints up. There's a free in here from this side of the field, but the time is up. The clock has stopped on the on the thing. Enda McWee is taking. Enda's looking around to see what he can do. The ref is looking at him. Enda's looking in and looking and looking. What can he do? He lets fly, but he just drops it in. And it's all oh, every player in the field is in around here. Valley Pickers has bring it out. He's tipped it out as far as Sam Quinn. Sam Quinn tries to get into his hand. They're looking at Sam Quinn. Sam lets fly in. But it's going to be, it's a 70. But 65. I'm afraid it's a 65 ball. But the, it, the time is way over time. I don't know why he's thinking about it. At least we're five points up, so it doesn't matter. The board has even clicked out the whole scoreboard and everything. Everyone thought the game was over. But the ref is looking at his watch. We're well, five points up. Well, uh, John, we're there. Well, look, this is five points of a lead. It's probably time. It must be very close to up after this particular passage of play. But well, the Pickers will no doubt want to defend it to the very end. So Enda McWee is looking, it's going to land in around the kitchen again, everyone's in there, he gives it very short, Dara McWee is the first man to break out, Dara McWee is keeping it in front of him, the ball breaks out, but it breaks out to Sam Quinn again, Sam Quinn is out playing, Sam goes about going through lads, and he's going to, and he's going to give a free against Abelique's, and we're five, six minutes over time, and there's no one down this end of the field, the ref, he's there looking around to see who's out, but Bally Pick has better retreat down the field. Five points up, Jerry Whelan is racing down. Ricky Nolan is going back down the field. Yeah. Barry Pickers have won the junior final, 1921. So that's it. Connor Bergen is coming after the ref. They're, they're on to the ref here, Connor Bergen, then, but it doesn't matter. Pickers have won the final yes. by five points. No dispute in that one. Oh, Bally Pickles, they took the game to Heavy Leagues. They've got to build up a big lead. Heavy Leagues fought back. But in fairness to Bally Pickles, and when the chips were down, they came good in the last few minutes with a goal and a pint to see them over the line. And another win, the eighth time for this club to win the Junior Hurling Championship. And 90 years exactly from the time it was won the first one. So... It's celebration time in Bella Pickets this evening and possibly maybe for the weekend because this is a great win from great loyal servants of the club over many years and many of those players have been part of this bunch for the last 10 years. But today is another great day for Bella Pickets and the history of the club 
90 years after their very first one in 1931. Yeah, an absolute brilliant win from Balapakis, but I knew they were fighting hard and they were battling for each other. That's what matters in the, in, in the finish up. And there was a bit of an old jizz about them. And uh, fair play at home. They got the goals. The goals wins matches. And they got them. So there's savage celebrations out in the field here uh, for Ballypicus. Brilliant, brilliant display for him. Absolute magnificent work from a small little rural club. You know, very, very limited with the number of players they have compared to other clubs. And to see what they can do. Win this junior final. Win by five points. No disputing it. So we're going to sign off from up here. And we're going to go out in the field. And we're going to uh, interview a few players and a few past, past players and present players.